This is such an important topic to bring forward. Why is it important that we have at least two days, three days to bring these bills to the light of day? I don't know, I can speak for probably all of my colleagues that my cell phone, I, my text messages, my emails, my office is blowing up with constituents going, where are we? This budget laid out some of the most stressful uh, suggestions that we've ever encountered. Affordable housing, changes to our energy policy, funding for not-for-profits and for health care, things that our constituents rely on a daily basis. I hate to remind you, but in a matter of days, our schools are going to have to present their budgets to be voted on, and yet they don't know what funding they're going to be getting. I know even today I heard from Gerwin uh, Healthcare Services, and they said that they were told Somewhere in this budget, there was supposed to be a 20% increase for Medicaid for them. They're hoping for at least 10%, but now the gossip is 6.5%, which is going to end their care. Uh, and for them to be listening to gossip instead of being able to read bills and figure out how this budget is going to impact them directly and all of their clients, that's a terrible thing. This is not the kind of thing that requires a message of necessity. This is where we need to bring in black and white the bills for our constituents and the companies and everyone who's part of our, our communities to be able to read and analyze for themselves. Uh, changing suburbs into city, city uh, 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 skylines, that's a massive change, especially from my district in Long Island. And we, I have communities reaching out to me on a regular basis, waiting anxiously to find out what is going to happen. Many of them saying, if it happens, I'm moving. That's a big change to our state, and we need to see it, and we need to see it in black and white. 